play. Yeah. They might even consider that they will need a late game hero because if they end, if they end up picking something like a Cecilia, that might be them going a, a little bit more conservative route. Wow. But yeah, Eve, of course. I mean, if they go, yeah, luckily he said Eve. I mean, yeah. If they go Cesty, it's just F Nov saying that ah, we are gonna win anyway. It's only a fanatic Onyx Philippines looking to close up shop, looking for that sweep. Let's see if the hometown crowd will allow that. One more look at the draft. Man, you, one of the Yume's classic, the Grok. When push comes to shove, you know SRG is going to go back to their comfort. And they're really diving down in on the early game center composition of their lineup. So far, SRG working with more utility now, in my opinion, than in game one. Fnatic Onyx, though, individually, such strong picks they ended up with. As we go into the battlefield, Claude and Dexter watching from up above. Let's get into game number two. Once more for all the marbles. Two lines in the upper bracket. Fnatic Onyx Philippines versus SRG. Man, if you're SRG, you really want as much as possible to advance to the upper bracket and keep your golden rose safe. And there, and it looks like it's pr working pretty well for them. Or Kirk is they, holding his own. Yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be Kram first, but they know this. That's why they're trying to go for Kram. Here we go. King Kong looking for the stacks. Bruce going by the Filipino champions. Yeah, they also lost their Revitalize from Kirk. So the aggression of Fnatic Onyx Philippines has been used up against them, while Yums just trying to zone out the members of Fnatic. And it looks like it's going to be an uncontested turtle take for SRG, but Kram though. Kirk. Down to a fifth of his health, maybe a tenth. Uh, AOG just for good measure. Okay, just to be safe. Troll of the make... map. They're going for plays that will benefit them in the long haul. Now Yooms gets hit with the retribution. Okay, King Kong uses retribution. Here comes the real retribution coming in from Super Friends. Draws the first blow in the hands of Brusco to try and bring down Yums. Here comes Sekai's though. With a sever. Fnatic on the Philippines. That's the signal to walk away because we know Sekai's is there. Prior fastest. Not... Eh, we don't. You don't call him Bruiser for nothing. Whoa! But you don't also Sekai. You don't also call Sekai's the Sky Prince if he's not gonna shut down Brusco just like that with the Queller. Uh, so this is a matchup we don't see very often. Yeah. I mean, Harith also used up when uh, potentially there's a Bruno, but Kram, though, Hold up. a little bit too deep there. Getting caught up by King Kong while Stormy works on Brusco. Here comes Electrifying Beats. Kram running for his life. Ikram! One more hit! King Kong gets him. The beast went hunting. Turtle down to a tenth of his health. Okay, already commits the implosion, but the Purify coming in for Stormy is their super friends, though. Reward manipulation! Gets an implosion, but is it going to be enough, though? Paired up with the power of nature and wild charge. It's not going to be enough, because Fnatic on it, Philippines, slowly slaughtering the giants. Even King Kong onto the tier one turret gets one more. The beast is on the hunt and he finds another. Converting into a turret in mid. Fnatic on it, Philippines are online. The shutdown by the Sky Prince. Not so fast as the gold standard gets one in return. Three death sonatas connecting onto Sekai's. Zero and one. Currently on top of the gold rankings. He's about 700 away. And now a fight breaks out. Fight breaks out, but it's already done because Fnatic Onyx Philippines manages to pick two. Stormy and Kram. Just look at how proactive Brusco is right now. A while ago, uh, we've we seen him getting scared or get, getting taken down by Sakai's with the Quiller. And this time, with a huge, huge win for the previous class for Fnatic Onyx Philippines, Brusco is now unbothered. The Bruiser in his element just going to zone out for Fnatic Onyx Philippines. Oh. Oh, God. One more time! The Filipino Savage is at work. He's now a thousand and change ahead. Calrai is on a mission. The Philippines has one representative left. And Fnatic Onyx Philippines, the pressure is high, but it looks like they're unbothered. 3.4k gold lead, looking to get the turtle away from SRG. This is the final turtle of game number two. Fnatic Onyx jungler way away is up top. Cram here in the middle of everything. But just look at the implosion once again coming in from Bruce Go paired up with a real manipulation and unstoppable kill coming in from Kelra. Sakai diving into the defense. Manages to get one though. Here comes the AOG coming in from Kirk. But Innocent picks up a kill as well. The answer from SRG is here. King Kong! Coming in. Red free on the cram. He's not done. Here comes the beats. The beast slowly slaughtering the giants. Paired up with the help of Kirk. Gonna bring down one more. Kelra that's the is it gonna be enough though? There's no charge, so SRG is safe for now. That's a DZF defensive Zaman force dropped in by Innocent to get out of harm's way. And just like that, 
the late entry from King Kong scores him the final lord. Two to one the score, two to one. Eight minutes in, Fnatic on it, 5,000 gold ahead. Scream his name and King Kong will appear. Even if it's late, it's better than late picking up two kills of their own, plus the turtle takedown, preventing SRG's tempo to regain their bad tempo, but Brusco! He elevates and he detonates! With the AOG and implosion play, Kellra also working on the back, even Gram, even Sakai will bow down to the gold standard! And the beast shall clean up house! Oh. And here comes Innocent from the back line, Super Friends pops him, point blank! Fanatic Onyx! It's hard for SRG to find a favorable engagement, an entry into the fight. Because look, they're gonna throw Cram in here, but oh. he's not so sure. Off camera, Innocent's down! An off cam kill, solo kill. King Kong brings down Innocent. So low! So low! Fanatic Onyx Philippines, here comes the real world manipulation. Stormy! Come on, come on, come on. Sonata brings down Death to Stormy! Yum goes in just trying to delay the push of Fnatic Onyx Philippines, but they, 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 here they are. They have minions working on the top lane turret. They don't care about Sekai's in the back line. They want to penetrate. They want to come in! Okay, Sekai's gonna dash out, but the problem is the base has now been exposed! Kelra just really working on the double! And now the recalls are here for Fnatic! They have many choices. They can push mid, they can push top, they can take the Lord. What's Fnatic Onyx to do here? They're about 10,000 gold ahead. No waves. They should breathe, take it slow, Fnatic Onyx. While well, all the while, the beast incarnate, King Kong himself. And catching the implosion or the real world manipulation. Even Stormy is compromised. Oh, oh, okay, forcing out the summon force already. King Kong electrifying beats. Innocent though, here comes the AOG. That's three, pushed back. Fnatic Onyx, 12,000 gold ahead. Pop in mid, bottom up next. Lord sieging in the top. Well, Fnatic Onyx Philippines working on the last inhibitor turret down bottom. Kelra and the rest of the Super Family in charge, in full control. Will they go for a play? We're all just waiting for Brusco to go in. Flicker in with the implosion play. Let's see how SRG will respond. Minions onto the middle lane. Fnatic Onyx Philippines waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike though. Yums. Will they go for it? Look at Kelra with the Rhapsody. That's not the connecting. One more. The RWM. The stolen one away. Down goes Sikai. That's one man down. Kelra just working on bringing down bodies of the SRG implosion from Brusco. They find three for Send them out. Down goes Yooms. The RWM from Prince. King Kong taken out. Traded out for Yooms is down. Another one in the way. Innocent pop. And they go for more. The punish. The AOG by Kurt. Point blank. Stormy's gonna fall here. Down to one. Ikram cannot take it up a notch. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The base standing. Fnatic on it, Philippines. Lahat matamag. The Filipino champions. The Philippines' last hope. March forward in the upper bracket. The gold standard and the rest of the super family becomes the greatest obstacle to date that the Giants cannot overcome. Fnatic Onyx Philippines sends SRG to the lower bracket. One life, one series of loss for SRG. Fnatic Onyx breezing through the upper. Let's throw it over to our panel.